Hi, this is Tom. Today I'm going to show you how to do something really cool. So in one of my earlier posts, I was showing you how to make a follow me button for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can snip any photo from anywhere on the web or a photo from your computer and make a button out of it that links to a web page of your choice. Okay, let's get started. So if you go to my earlier post, and I put a link in there to get some HTML code. So we'll click on there, and copy and paste one of these codes. It can be any one, it doesn't really matter. Copy it and paste it into Notepad. Okay, we can close that for now and go back. Next thing we want to think about is where we are actually going to put this button and what size it's going to be. So I want to put one here. So easy way to measure it, if you don't know, is take your snipping tool from Windows 7. Cut the space you want the button to be in. Save it. I've already made a file here. I'm just going to call it Capture for now, and it's a portable network graphics file. Okay, so save. Okay, once it's saved, we can close that. Open Photoshop. Go and get my file. There it is. Just going to drag it into Photoshop. It's just purely just to find out the size. Okay, it's just the size of the button we want. Go up to image, image size, it's telling us here it's uh, 261 by 101. So I'm going to make my button 250, that's going to be fine, that's just going to be perfect to fit in the sidebar there. Okay, we can cancel that, we don't really want to do anything and get rid of that now. Okay, Photoshop. let's go and get our button. So I'm going to go to a good friend of mine's website. He won't mind if I choose one of these buttons. So it's going to look nice, I think, in my site. So take my snipping tool. Snip out. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to save it then. And I'm going to call it Visualize. And again, it's a portable network graphics card, graphics file, so <clears throat> PNG. Okay, save. Now I'm going to go into Photoshop and go and get my. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and resize it. Again, I've left a bit of black around the side, so I'm just going to sharpen it up a little bit. image size and I'm going to change the size there to 250. Okay. Same as I'm just going to copy over that one. And paste this please. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go into our 
WordPress dashboard and load it into the media library. Add new. Take my file and drag and drop it into there. Let's check it's going to show it all. Okay, that's how I want it. Yes. Save changes and load it into the library. Okay, now we're ready to load the code. So we go to appearances, down to widgets. Take our text widget and put it at the bottom. That's where I want my button to go. Go and get my HTML code. Now I'm going to change a couple of things on here. First of all, I actually want to put the target domain. So go back to my friend's site, copy his ULR address, copy, and I'm going to replace this address. Okay, now I'm going to change the date. The date that I actually loaded it into the media library, that is. Now I'm going to change the name. To the name of the button. Okay, so control C, copy. Copy of all of it. Go back into our widget and paste. Paste it in there. Don't forget to save. Go and view the site. Our button. Check it works. Perfect. Okay, so that's how you make a button. Okay, thank you.